Once the head or scolex of a tapeworm attaches to the intestinal wall of its host, it proceeds to produce a series of segments known as proglottids. As they proceed away from the scolex, because more proglottids are successively produced, they become sexually mature, produce eggs, and after fertilization, embryos. As the proglottids mature, they can be released from the tip of the tapeworm and pass through the host feces, where they can infect the next host, which may be an intermediate host, depending on the life cycle of the specific tapeworm.